A terminal block is a safe, reliable, and robust way to connect wires. I'm Corey Meyer. I am the product manager for our DIN rail mounted terminal box at Phoenix Contact. There's a lot of different kinds of terminal blocks, but the main thing you have going on is there's going to be a number of clamping mechanisms. In this case, we have two. That's going to hold that wire in place. So picture these wires were continuing to go to something that holds that wire in place, and then you have your current bar that is carrying the current from wire to wire. When should we use the terminal block? Like, should every wire have a terminal block, or is it just when it's exiting the cabinet? Anytime two or more wires are being connected to each other. So that's really the point. And when you're looking at some older connection methods, whether it be a wire nut, simply crimping it, or even going as far as just soldering them together using electrical tape, this is a safe, touch-proof way that you can connect those wires. Why use them over other connection methods? Safety, 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 and reliability. Safety is the big thing. Connections like this, that's not touch-proof whatsoever. So if someone were to come in contact with this and these wires are live, they would get shocked. With a terminal block, again, I'm saying safe a bunch, but that's the big name in the game with terminal blocks. It's a safe way. What are the different types of connections available? We have our UT screw connection, our PT pushing connection, RT ring lug connection, ST spring cage connection, QTC insulation displacement connection, an XTV push X connection. There's a lot to unpack there. Click here where we're gonna learn about the different connection technologies.